Well, I, it, it happens that when I'm looking for an idea to solve a graphic problem here, um, the, I've gotten most results from waking up in the morning when it's very quiet, right? And my, my head is clear here and I start thinking about ideas and I come, usually come up with something uh, that's interesting. They don't always work. Sometimes they're crazy, uh, but, but they help. And to answer your question, it's the absence of noise here helps, helps me, inspires me. I, I found out that if I had to, to do something like a poster and I started making sketches and after about five minutes, I realized I'll never be able to draw again, right? My whole career is over because I couldn't think of anything for the five minutes. Uh, but then I go away and I come back to it and eventually I get something that I, that I can use. Well, I, I, my most famous poster is, is End Bad Breath, which, which I, I did during the Vietnam War. It was done for a company that, uh, that sold posters, that produced posters and, and sold them in, in shops during the, during the 60s. It was, it was a woodcut and it was okay, but people seemed to latch on to it. It became, became important, especially among those people who were against the war like I was here, but also it seemed to have some resonance here graphically for them. And it's, it's, uh, it's become well known since, and I get, get many requests for that, uh, that poster. Uh, the noise from the client, of course. And clients are very different. Uh, I do a lot of books and I'm surprised how, how much they allow me to, to create the work and produce the book with little trouble here. But it's happened so many times when I have a little drawing to do for a magazine that it comes back for, to make changes many times, especially for the New Yorker magazine a magazine that, that prides itself on, on good good artwork here. So it's very important for me to do decent work for them, but they make it difficult because they come back with arbitrary changes that they want. Um, well, if I work on assignment, it's going to be the deadline that's going to de determine everything. Right, I have a deadline, I have to do it, and it's gotta do it as best as I can, that's okay. When I work for myself, if I generate my own work for books or painting that I, that I do, what inspires me, sometimes it's an idea that, that, I, that I have, that I, that I, that I want, want to do, or uh, it's something on the outside that inspired me. So it's always looking around for, for things. A lot of going through a lot of books. Well, I have nothing to show you here because it was never done, you know. Um, I was asked uh, to do in the New York subways. They had a program of doing mosaic, mosaic designs, and they've asked different people to do mosaic these tile, you know, little mosaics. And I worked very hard at, on it, doing the, doing the sketch, and it was all wrong. Uh, and I, I tried to, to think, well, maybe I should have done more sketches. Sometimes I show two or three ideas here, and ho hopefully they will buy one of them here, but I was trapped with that one. And so I, uh, there was, it was a competition. So they picked somebody else for it. I had no chance to do it over. Uh, 
I know it's done when I've when I've drawn everything and the coloring looks good. Otherwise, I'm not, I'm I don't obsess about it yeah. here. I just send it off to, and hopefully it's going to be bought and and they like it. There's nothing special about deciding. Oh, this is it. Okay, I'm finished now. No, it doesn't. It's sort of quiet. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Can't take it. And my wife, Paula Scher, has the same problem with technology. Uh, and, and having to do things on Zoom here could really... I mean, I can't, I can't imagine myself drawing on a, on a computer. I mean, that is you know, just very, very weird. Yeah, I draw on paper. Paper is good enough for me, even though it's going to end up in a computer at, at some point. Um, it just doing that me mechanically here doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you have to, you, your work has to be unique, but not so unique that nobody is interested in it. You know, do something, but it has to be in the mainstream. So people understand what you're doing. It communicates, but it, it has to be something that's so special in terms of style or attitude that is, is, is different and unique. So for illustrators and designers, that's, that's my, my message for them. Is that learn from, uh, from other people, people from the past, and then do your own. Don't, don't try to imitate anybody. You can be inspired by, by people, but don't imitate it. Cause it, and don't be concerned about what trends are. If there are trends for something, it's already too late. You're not gonna forget about it. You, the thing is to do something, try to do something that's, that is unique, but it's not so far that nobody would be interested in it. Tough getting ideas has, has gotten more difficult. That is, that is a problem. Um, but I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing as long as I can. <laughs>